we're going to go over the functions available with a crosstab report. Let's go ahead and right click on our crosstab and go to the crosstab expert. Usually it helps if you right click on the top left hand corner of the crosstab. From here we get our crosstab expert tabs and these are all of our options. We can highlight one of our summarize fields and change the summaries. We have quite a few options here. The number of options is pretty much corresponding to what type of field it is. For example, numbers, which tend to be most of the metrics out there, will have all of these options, including a weighted average with any field available. You could also have your counts, your distinct counts, correlation, your covariance, so on and so forth. In this case, we'll leave it as a sum. You could also show it as a percentage of. This show as percentage of is based on your columns and rows. So if I say show as a percentage of, the total sum amount for each row, that's what I would get. Whereas if I chose column, it would be the column total going across that would compare back to to calculate a percentage. In this case, we're going to leave it as a row. Press OK, press OK, and now we have this function here. Now, if someone has zero, it means they probably weren't active in 1999. For example, Betty Lou didn't come on until 2005, and Debbie didn't come on until 2003. The crosstab has to put something in those fields, even if there was no data available. Let's explore some of these functions a little bit more. Let's go to our crosstab expert, and I'm going to remove the average, and I'm going to throw in something a little bit different. I'm going to throw in a string. I can choose a count of employee names, and now when I go and click, notice I have a reduced list based on the string type of field. This reduced list reflects what can be successfully calculated with a string field. I can do a distinct count. I can do a straight count, which is counting every single record for that cut. When I say that cut, I eat the column, first name, and the year, which goes across as a row. I can also find the maximum and the minimum. I can also remove as I see fit. I encourage you to play around with the summary fields and find what works with you. You may find that Crystal calculates some of these formulas a little bit differently than let's say you would in Excel or with your own unique statistical program. If you need something simple, Crystal has it. But I have to warn you, the more complicated the formula, the more potential variations of that formula could be out there. And you may agree that one is more correct than the next, but Crystal will continue to use the one it was programmed with. For simple things such as averages and summaries and even weighted averages, it's pretty straightforward. But the second you start talking standard deviation or covariance, while all math is universal, the guy who created the formula may not be.